Hello, Awesomeness101.34 fans. Today, I'm trying to look this at um, the Dragon Ball Z figure because I kind of want to start a collection. So, I took some advice from Goshen, SS Goshen 4, and I've been looking at rightstuff.com on their anime superstore. I pulled up some links I emailed to my mom, Dead by it. <clears throat> Let's see what the links. And this one, um, it's a Dragon Ball Z figure, BNW S Vegeta, SS Vegeta, and Android 16, and I don't know why, but some of their figures, mystery figure, I don't know why. Our next one will be, it's a small image, but right here, where my mouse is, that's SS2. Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, and Battle Damage. How lucky am I? Oops. Um, it's only... See that? Retail? Your price, only $10. Well, and there's also... <clears throat> SS Vegeta in... Final Flash form. Next is Android 17 and Super Saiyan Goku and a mystery figure. And again, it's $10. They have, um, here's a little bit more expensive, and it's kind of weird because they're just about like 3 for 10 But here's one figure for $14. It's a mm, Dragon Ball Z action figure trunks and movie collection series 18. And it's pretty beast looking. That's why I emailed it. You can see his muscles, his great Super Saiyan hair. Okay. Next is a Dragon Ball GT action figure trunks. 5 inch um, series. He has his, all his clothing on. It's pretty good. It's by Jax Pacific. I'll go back and tell you where it's from. Again, this one's from Jax Pacific. Dragon Ball Action Figure Super Saiyan Trilogy Series 1. And I've seen these boxes before on other people's reviews. But there's a lot of them, so that could be good. Here's a Majin Buu with Gohan Exorb Dragon Ball Z Action Majin Movie Collection Series 12 by Jack Pacific again. And $16. And here's Dragon Ball Z Action Figure Great Saiyan Man Striking Z Figure Series 7. It looks pretty good. And it's seven dollars and forty nine cents, and it's by Jack Pacific again. Now let's see this one. This one's by Jack Pacific. Android sixteen and Super Saiyan. Jack Pacific. Jack Pacific. Jack Pacific. Jack Pacific. And it looks like all these are Jack Pacific. <laughs> and here's all my videos. Here's my channel. And there's been some chains in the background. Got the pattern going on. And besides, it's been pretty good. Um, if you're wondering again, I went to prom. Here's the... Here, I'll show you the website. Rightstuff.com. Okay, rightstuff.com here. You search here. <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z figures. You can click Dragon Ball figures. That's how I thought it did. Whatever you search it.
see, you can find there's this huge list of figures for update. And so far, that's the only main thing. If you don't want to search one anime store, okay, they have different selections here. Game video print out collect. Alright, this. Alright, so. Okay, don't click on figures or model kits. Click on action figures. And all the action figures they have. What I hate are these Dragon Ball action figures where they have the energy so called ball shooting out. Because those aren't really worth it. And once I get some figures, I'll make some reviews on it. And see, there's one of them. There's one, there's one. And they have up to... One. Some of them, once you get the page six, they stop showing Dragon Ball. Wait. And once you get the page four, they stop showing Dragon Ball stuff. So that's so far a review of what I'm trying to get. There, so I guess that concludes this episode. Like I said, I maybe be able to do some videos once I get some figures. It might be a while, maybe in the fall. Then stay tuned to Awesomeness 10134.